Europa della libertà e della democrazia diretta. La parola all'onorevole Batten. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the white paper on the future of the European Union follows the usual format that we're used to. It recognizes the problems facing it, but fails to understand that many of these were created by the EU in the first place. And the solution is always the same, for the EU to have yet more power in order to solve the problems that it created. And that always means yet more integration, political, fiscal and economic. Now, the paper acknowledges that the current economic crisis particularly affects the younger generation. It quite rightly wants to ensure that every generation is better, better off than the previous one. It acknowledges that the effect on the young is particularly felt within the Eurozone. And in the same paragraph, it goes on to say, this highlights the need to complete economic and monetary union, unquote. It defies belief that Mr. Juncker or anybody else cannot understand that the European single currency is the single biggest reason for the catastrophic levels of youth unemployment in countries like Portugal, Spain and Greece. And the austerity measures designed to keep the euro alive just make things worse. The paper does not once mention the British referendum. If Mr. Juncker tried to understand the reasons why the British voted to leave, it might help him understand what is needed to reform the European Union. Sadly, I don't think he will go, he's going to do that, but happily, Britain won't be part of it.